right? So seven out of 10, which is 70% of my encounters were not good. I didn't have good experiences when dealing with people outside. And I analyzed that behavior and it, my calculation was just on point because it was also seven out of 10, 70% of the time. To me, that was bad experience because maybe there is social conformity so people behaving that way in Germany because socially they have accepted it. And this is what I analyzed that behavior myself as well. And I believe in that theory from Salomon Ash because my calculations came up with the same estimate as well, right? Of course, I did that on a more personal level, but his study was really properly conducted with a lot of spread, man. So it was in the 1950s, and you can go on and read more about that. And this is what you need to pay attention to because of social conformity. You might be doing the wrong thing, but we and you have to stop doing that. So have you ever voted for a politician that you didn't really like and your gut was feeling like this is the wrong politician but then because for me the persuasion you went on and voted for that politician have you ever done that it would be really interesting to know and also because of social conformity have you ever voted or done something that you know you knew that that was the wrong thing to do or you knew that was the wrong person to support or you knew that was the wrong person to lead but then he went on and voted or supported that person anyhow. Have you ever done that? It would be really interesting to know. And yeah, if you have done that, let me know in the comment down below because it would be really interesting to know. And another thought process that I had, right? Because of course I live in the West and the UK and I'm not a white individual. And the majority of the population is white. And what I thought, maybe my odds to become a politician here is going to be very low because I know about social conformity then 70% of the people wouldn't vote for me because they will, especially with the help of the media, vote for the wrong politicians knowing that they're the wrong politician. That has really got me questioning, you know, if it's a good idea for me to try to become a politician in the UK, right? Because I'm going to have to fight against the odds, you know, 70%, 7 out of 10 people wouldn't vote for me if we analyze the situation correctly. And putting that into perspective also made me think if you would do that yourself, right? So let's say, for instance, that I'm the most qualified, I'm, I've got the right degree, the right knowledge, the right experience and I understand the economy and I can predict what will happen so I can go in and protect the economy. I understand about interest rates, you know, inflation and employment and I have a wide range of knowledge in different sectors. I understand about business. I know what the country needs so, you know, small businesses will be profitable, hire more people and bring in more cash flow within the economy and that's going to be very beneficial to the country. And also, of course, I have exposure to foreign countries, to different countries, speak different languages. See, I'm actually the right candidate to be a politician. And also people tend to trust me really and like me and support me because I'm very reliable, I'm trustworthy. I've got all the characteristics and the skills, the knowledge, the soft skills, the communication skills to be an amazing politician. But you see that because of so social conformity, it's likely that 70% of the population, seven out of 10 wouldn't vote for me. You know what, where that's coming from? So, this is the question. Let's see if this genius this type of individuals out there and you are not voting for them and these people would be able to bring much better economic returns to you and your country and your family and, you know, your children than the ones that you're voting for right now. 
see why you're not voting for those individuals right so you, you really need to digest that a lot more because as we can see the economy is being trashed down to the ground you know it's just been completely destroyed and this country went from being an amazing country to really struggle right now and millions of people into poverty it's just because the country is not voting for the right politicians it's that simple